we're both in trouble. Yeah. We'll see what happens, honestly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you want to go into Jets and Robert Sala? A little bit about that? Yeah, it's, he got his second interview today. Everyone's saying that's their leading candidate. Personally, I don't understand it. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's the right fit. Like you said with the Eagles, if they brought him in, they need their perfect offensive coordinator. I think they need an offensive mind. Yeah. Or they do. They either have to develop Sam Donald, who really hasn't been developed under Gase or Bowles with his one year. Yeah. Or you're going to have a brand new Zach Wilson. or Zach Wilson, it looks like it'll be if they decide to draft the QB. Yeah, 100%. You're I think. Gonna have to, I don't understand bringing in a defensive head coach for a team that's been desperately struggling in the past with QB play. Mm-hmm. I think they have to go offense, but if they bring them in, we'll see where it goes, I guess. Yeah. They'll have a good defense with May. They have Quinn and Williams. They might sign a piece on D. Yeah. I believe CJ Mosley will be coming out. I think he opted out with COVID. Who knows what it'll be. He really hasn't played in two years. He was a top linebacker before he got injured. But he like... was a top linebacker. He got injured the first game of his first year with the Jets, and the second year he opted out due to COVID. Mm-hmm. So, maybe he'll be a good player for them still on defense. But Salah will have that defense good like he had the 49ers defense. Yeah, good. 100%. I don't see how the offense really could be good unless they get a struggling not offensive coordinator. And even if they do, those offensive coordinators, when they're good, they get right, they get their next job right away. 100%. That's a coaching so. job. I, mean, I don't yeah. understand bringing in the defensive coach as a head coach anymore. They've but, done it so many times. Uh, like. Besides Gase, they've done Rex Ryan, Todd Bowles, uh, What's the guy and before? now maybe Sala. So, I mean, that's three out of your last four head coaches, defensive guys. I don't understand it, but I do trust – I would trust Douglas as a Jeff fan. A hundred percent. They have trouble. Because I don't <laughs> – but I do trust Douglas to make the right moves as a coordinator and – who knows what Salah? Maybe Salah will know a little bit about offense with all his time as a defensive coordinator. I mean, yeah, I see what you're saying. I feel like Sam Darnold, supposedly Bill Belichick came out and said Sam Darnold got the best help that he could with Adam Gase. Supposedly Adam Gase is a QB guru or something like that. Supposedly he has his next job lined up with the New England Patriots as their QB coach. I don't know how true that is, but it came out. But I mean – I think they have to get off to my coach, like you said. Maybe I think Doug Peterson is a perfect fit, but I don't know what they're gonna do. It's like crazy. Like I feel like supposedly the Eagles want Salah, but then they're gonna rush for him. But I don't. I think it might be locked up after your second interview. Supposed to be enemy. Didn't go well in some interviews. Didn't people weren't like shocked like they thought they would be. But the Andy Reid coaching tree basically is very successful. You see guys like John Harbaugh, Sean McDermott. All in the league right now is having yeah, success. Sure. So, I mean, I don't know what's going to happen. It's going to be interesting off season. What's going to happen with Sean, then the Jets. What are they going to do with Sam Darnold? Maybe some people.